Yo, what's up, guys? It's Ralph Shine here, she, and welcome to another episode into the Match Mode Show. This is your play of the day. This was Bannon's goal against Newcastle United. That was a bit fast, wasn't it? Um, as I say, guys, every episode, if you like the vote, we should have posted in the comments below. Into our first game of the day, this is the League Cup final, and this is against Liverpool. Um, I didn't actually realise who was in it, I was just kind of, um, I don't really look at the game details usually. Um, I kind of just play along and we go like, okay, there's our uh, next game. Because originally I was actually going to go out with a uh, few reserve players out, and I was like, nope, nope, we're in the final, I can't do that. Um, but we do end up getting a penalty very early on. Um, Vidal steps up, Vidal does actually have 89 penalties, an absolute beast at taking them. And we do end up going one nil up as well with uh, Vidal. But Liverpool didn't want to stay behind for long. They do have the ball now. Lovely ball on the top. But Dembele. Oh my mother of Jesus. Face God. La blah. Goal of the day. Oh my God. Pick that out. You can actually vote for player of the day for like uh, opposition goals and stuff as well. So that was an absolute beast. I would, I would personally put that in myself. Um, but Liverpool now just before half time. They do end up scoring, which changes the the team talk entirely. Because I do say that, guys, to you. Um, if you want to get a goal going just before half time, it can change um, the morale set of anyone, especially if you're playing not online. Um, you can be like, oh, God, shit, I need to change something around now. But we do make some subs. Uh, Borjan tries a shot, but unfortunately doesn't score there. Well, he did score, but unfortunately was offside, uh, which was very disappointing because. We could have come back into it because at that point I was like, oh my god, it's not coming for me. But Borjan again on the ball. Slots in home. And what a goal that was. He's really good at keeping the ball close to his feet. He can, a bit like a Messi type player. Small, you can get in and out. But we couldn't score any time after that. So we go into extra time. Borjan now tries another shot. But unfortunately it does go wide there. But then we don't score again. Uh, we go to penalties, ladies and gentlemen. So the first penalty we did score, but then Liverpool miss. We got fairly lucky. Um, we do it hits our knees and then it pops on onto the post. But then we do miss our one straight after. So um, <laughs> I, I, I don't I don't mind penalties, but sometimes I'm like, oh god, um, I'm unpredictable with them. But uh, these are highlights of the penalties, as I mentioned. But we do save another one, and here we go. This is the final penalty. Sydney Sam versus Pepe Reina. For the cup, for the League Cup final. Goal! Sorry, I'm sorry, guys. Sorry if I just bursted your ears out there. But anyway, yes, we do end up winning a League Cup final, ladies and gentlemen, against Liverpool. Um, it did feel like it wasn't coming at one point, especially when we went two, two and down. But Drava coming now. It's a great achievement, um, especially coming to the last season with Aston Villa. It's a nice uh, thing to go home with. And we're like, yes, we are the League Cup winners. We've got some silverware in our um, cabinet now with Villa. So, not bad at all. But into our next game, that was against Manchester United. This is the quarterfinals of the FA Cup. We haven't actually got any Premier League games uh, this particular episode. But uh, at the very start, I just uh, went out all out attack, tried a rainbow flick, and... I have found a weakness straight away. It was Patrice Ever. We go one all up, of course. And we run rings round him. Um, you see then, uh, I did a rainbow flick over him. I was sharing. See, poor touch from Ever. Borjan runs onto the ball. And he does end up scoring again. Constantly just going. He was... Ever was just off form. And I don't really understand, like, how this player... How he was doing that, especially his high rating. But Ever is actually getting... Old now, so maybe his rating's going down, and we kind of running right, right around him at the moment. But we do end up missing a shot there with Powell. But now in the further on into the game, we do end up giving away a penalty. Unfortunately, uh, it was a pretty harsh penalty. But let you know, they do end up missing it. I went the right way, so if I was slightly lower, I think I would have saved it anyway. But uh, Man United yeah, go through a lovely one-on-one -on -one save. They do pass it out now, and look at that. What a double save. Instant replay for you guys. Gobby, look at that. Into the face. But the hero to zero throws the ball out to Diouf. And they let one in. It, it, oh, I, there needs to be dedicated buttons, personally, for a goalkeeper. Because I know for X and B, you can actually kick the ball out. And A is to throw it out and roll it out. 
personally, I think it should be like uh, A is to roll it out, X is to like throw it out over arm, and B is then to actually um, uh, throw, uh, kick it out. Because um, I've had so many problems like with that. Like some of them I've been lucky with, and they end up missing. But I do it so many times. I just want to roll the ball out. I don't want to throw it out. Like it just let me make it simple. Uh, so yeah, guys, what do you think of that? What do you think of that for FIFA 13? I mean, nice little feature to bring in. But guys, we do have the second leg of the Champions Cup. Um, we do go 1-0 down, but one all on aggregate. So, um, But then we do answer back straight away with Borjan. Um, we do end up scoring ahead of fairly surprising. But we did go up with a, against a guy who was similar height. He wasn't exactly that. He, he was pretty easy to actually get ahead of past him, um, to be honest. Uh, yeah, but we do end up making it 2-1. And we kept pushing forward at that point. Um, with Powell now on the ball, passing it now to Lewandowski. Lewandowski tries to throw a shot and a great save. We did try to get the corner there. But at half time, 1-0, 2-1 on aggregate. And it looks like we are going through. We do make some subs. Sydney Sam for Bannon because we did have a lot of tiredness actually happening. And then if Juventus found out our weakness with tiredness, we, we would just end up getting exploited very easy. But we try another shot. Um... But then Juventus decide to go out of attack. And sure, we do make a brilliant save. But um, I don't know whether you say Paul goalkeeping or Paul defending. Personally, Paul defending. Um, he should have, like, our defender should have tried and cover the cross. But unfortunately, he doesn't do it there. Um, because, and here, same again. There was no defender in the middle. But at this point now, guys, it's getting fairly frustrated. I want to try and get the ball. I was running round ragged. And we do it again with our send off. But lucky enough. He won't be banned for the future because we do end up losing our first game of the entire campaign in all competitions. We lose our very first game. And to be honest, we lost to the better side. Juventus deserved to go through. But anyway, guys, I'd like to say thanks for watching. Hope you all enjoyed. Don't forget to like, comment, and if you are new to my channel, subscribe. Peace off, ladies and gentlemen. Bye-bye.